judges chair, chief judge, all the judges and toastmasters here who believe that courage is knowing what not to fear, what not to fear. I beg to differ from you because courage is knowing what you should fear or what you fear and striving to overcome it. Because courage is knowing your weakness, lifting yourself up and fighting over it. In 1989, when I was three years old, I remember it was a sunny afternoon. There was a breeze, people around this much, I was just three. I remember standing at the side of the stage with my grandpa holding his hands because my parents were in Saudi and my grandparents were the ones who raised me. I remember it was time for my short story. I remember growing old. I also remember my granddad come low and ask me, what is it that you are scared of? Maybe you are going to be okay. And I told him, I am scared. What if they don't clap for me? What if they don't cheer for me? What if I forget? And you know, I still remember what he said. Baby, this is the first step. You know what you are scared of. And I know that you can be better, better than it. I know that you cannot, you will not stop. You will not forget. I know that these people will clap for you. I know you will win. And I did. I didn't win third, I didn't win second. I won first. That was my first lesson in courage. Because courage is in knowing what you fear. And courage is in conquering that one thing that you fear. The other day, I took my three-year-old Ava, my daughter, to a public speaking class. She was the youngest. And there were children who were in seventh grade. She went right to the middle because everyone was asked to introduce themselves. She stood there shivering. She couldn't utter a word. But then the whole class clapped. Because she being three year old came to the front. And when she came back, I asked her, baby, what happened? And she said, mama, I'm scared. I said, what are you scared of? She said, I don't know what to say. I said, baby, that's good. Come on, now go back to the front. Tell everyone what your name is. She stood there and she said, my name is Ava. I said, louder, baby, louder. She said, my name is Ava. And the whole class clapped. Courage is in knowing what you fear and is in overcoming it. Courageous are those ordinary people who do extraordinary stuff. You don't have to look for great leaders, great kings like Martin Luther King or nobody. You don't have to look at anybody. Just look at yourselves. We've had people who've lost their jobs. We've got a 45 degree angle here. I still remember her speech. Courageous is she who picks herself up when she falls and carries herself forward. Courageous is not knowing what you should not fear, not just knowing that you shouldn't fear something. Courageous is exactly knowing what point, what people hold you down. Courageous is in knowing that the ordinary people, the ordinary person in you can do extraordinary stuff. Look into your own lives. Haven't there been an instance where people have pulled you down, have told you you're good for nothing? Or probably at your workplace, where your boss has told you for something or fired you, or even your first termination. I remember mine. I remember my first unfair termination, my first and only termination from the job. But I also remember this. I remember that I walked into his office and I said, I respect your decisions, but I respect my value more. So I'm walking out today with grace. Remember, courage is knowing what you fear and lifting yourself up. Forward to the